Okay, so. The best, Courtney. The best. <laughs> what we have learned, the last double thing, Chris. You ready? Okay. So what we've learned so far, you guys wrote down, we said I equals the square root of negative 1. Then we said I squared equaled um, positive, or I'm sorry, equaled negative 1. Then we said I cubed equaled negative I, and I to the fourth power equaled 1. Right? Now, what happens, ladies and gentlemen, is this is going to keep on repeating itself on and on and on. So once we get up, and we can kind of put this as an exponent of 1, once we get up to the fourth, when we do i to the fifth, it just gonna, is going to go back to i. i to the fifth is equal to i. Yeah. Because think about what's, what's i to the fourth? 1. If you multiply it by i, which would be i to the fifth, you're going to get back to i again. So what about i to the eighth? Right? Well, let's think, well, let's go through. Let's go through this first of all. Ladies and gentlemen, you could go and write this down of i to the 15th as many times as you want to. So if you wanted to, you could say, we know that i to the 4th is going to be 1. So you could write this as i to the 4th times i to the 4th, right, times i to the 4th. So this is, remember when you multiply exponents, you add them, times i to the 3rd. What do you do when you multiply exponents? You add them, right? So i to the 4th times 4th times i to the 4th times i cubed, is that equal to i to the 15th? Yeah. yeah. What's i to the 4th? 1. i to the 4th? 1. i to the 4th? 1. i cubed? Negative i. So therefore, you can say i to the 15th is equal to i cubed, which is equal to negative i. You could, you could do. You could do i times i times i times i times i all the way 15 times. Absolutely. But what I'm saying is, do you want to write out i 52 times? Probably not. Right? So let's go and work on a shortcut. Here is a semi-shortcut. I showed you guys how to write it out because once you get i to the fourth, we know i to the fourth is 1, right? And it repeats after i to the fourth. Because i to the fifth goes back to i. Now, even this, though, do we want to write i to the fourth to get up to 52? What if I gave you 152? Do you want to do it that many times? No. But what you guys can do is if I take i to the fourth, rather than doing this, what I can do is I can take 15 all right, and divide it by 4. 15 divided by 4 is what? 3 with a remainder of what? 3. 4 times 3 is 12. You're doing the decimal, right? 4 times 3 is 12. And then to get up to 15, you have a remainder of what? 3. Guess what? That remainder is going to be the exponent of your i, your remaining i. OK? So let's go and do 21. Rather than doing i to the fourth, i to the fourth, i to the fourth, let's just do it. 21 divided by 4 is what? Twenty-one divided by four is what? Twenty-one divided by four is five, with a remainder of what? Of one. So therefore, i to the twenty-first is the same thing as i to the first, which is equal to i. i to the first power is equal to i. Is everything equal to i? Well, unless it has a remainder of 3, then it's i to the negative i. Okay? <laughs> then we're going to look at um, i to the 52nd. So all you guys need to do is take 52, divide it by 4. So how many times does 52? 13. 13 times. What's the, is there a remainder? There's no remainder. So you could say it equals 13 with a remainder of 0. Now, this is where it gets a little difficult because so far we had 1, 2, 3, 
and then we go to four, and then we go back and repeat. So where is the remainder of zero? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you divide something evenly by four, it, four divides evenly into it, right? So that means that four is the same thing as really a remainder of zero. So what this is then, i to the 52nd is the same thing as i to the fourth, which is equal to positive one. All right, and we'll do the last one. 34 divided by four. What's 34 divided by four? Eight with a remainder of what? Eight times four is 32. So to get to 34, you're going to have a remainder of two. Therefore, i to the 34 equals, nice jacket. Wow. Do you need this person? Yeah. OK, do I need to give it to him? Oh, yeah. OK, I'll go and grab it here. Okay. Equals i squared. 